What happens if Flip Flap starts to discontinue just making Flip Flap toys at the beginning to the end? And the answer is, I think it's a definite correct answer, and I think it's... Meh. I don't know. Nothing very certain about Flip Flap. It's going to be carrying on, which is amazing, because we're only going to take a look at, unfortunately, one Flip Flap toy. And I think we all know what it is. It's this one here. It's the Asian Pied Miner or Starling Flock 12 Pack. I've actually heard of this species, and I, th I think one thing about this bird is that it looks like a doppelganger of the common or Indian miner that I often find in Southeast Asia. £15.99 or £16. So get ready for a high price tax because I could tell you guys, eh? You know, the flapping bird's tax would literally be very, very high, I can tell you guys, eh? Lovely looking coconut trees right there. There's the birds there. They're called pied starlings. And the reason why they're called pied starlings is because, look at the colours there. They're looking like that they're black and white. And um, that's basically the reason why they look like magpies. Well, maybe not. They're like a hybrid of magpies, but also minor birds and starlings. And there's what it looks like to be the anatomy and how to flap these birds. We've got a bit of a um, a palm tree, there's a bit of a ringing there. I love the fact that it looks pretty amazing. The colours of these birds, they look pretty amazing. I mean, I just love the fact you've got five palm trees there. It looks pretty amazing, it looks pretty cool as well. And I also enjoy the bubble writing as well, which to be honest looks very intriguing indeed. Nothing much to describe other than the fact that this set looks pretty intriguing. So we're going to come in and take a look at what's inside this very infamous looking product and we'll see what it's going to be all about. Making sure we've got the eponymous 12 birds inside. And we'll take a look at what these birds are and to be quite honest they look pretty amazing. Some of them just flap in a very... They don't look that potent when you just flap in the way they are. But what's also interesting is, is that they come in two different variations there in terms of the colours of the wings of the birds here as well. This one here has got more of a darkish sort of brown, it's got more of a darker sort of brown colourisation, eh? But the head and the face remains the same, and also the beak and the eyes and also the feet remain the same colour as well. They also remain the same fact that they're unnamed, which is very interesting, and also a bit, well let's just say, uh, a bit boring I'd say. This is the lighter morph of the Asian Pied Starling, or Mono, I call it. And it looks pretty amazing when you flap it over like that. It's got a very nice sort of quality like that. And if I do the same with this one here. You know, it's funny, they've all got the same sort of quality, I can keep on telling you. This is actually a very nice looking rendition of the real bird that you'd see in real life, though. And it's quite amazing. I actually love the fact that it is a species of styling and I love the fact it's got the beautiful red and yellow tone of the flag detailing it's actually more of a beak colorization than a flag detail sort of thing and I love the fact that all birds can have this sort of clicking feature because it's a bird based toy this one here doesn't click here unfortunately but this one does nevertheless I suppose I I don't think you'll be seeing the birds that easily when I'm holding for the whole yeah, of course. Looks pretty nice, so we'll try and flap the other one out. Right? Yeah, it's funny, I actually say these birds, they don't look too bad. And I'm actually quite curious at the moment. I'm actually quite, you know, a bit picky, but I'm not that pedantic in the way I am because, you know, I just want to be an opportunistic person as I can be. But there's one thing I'd love to take a look at, and that is the weather. We all know that the weather in the UK is starting to cool down which is very disappointing for many people who are fans of hot weather, of course. So I might probably show you later on in this video, or not, if the iPad just, you know, it doesn't jump cut or something like that, I suppose, eh? And I have to speak very, very slowly, because I can tell you guys, eh, my throat is nearly going to be dead. And yeah, we'll take a look at the weather, a bit of a synopsis on what the weather would actually be like in Birmingham, of course. And I'll just move the water bottle away so that we can see what's going on. Unfortunately, the sunshine's going to be absent on Monday next week, which will be tomorrow. And sadly, that's just about it. 22 degrees Celsius, which is actually quite amazing. 
And despite that, when you have cloud around, the temperatures actually start to get very muggy, which is very interesting, of course. Uh, Wednesday, uh, it's all going to be rainy, Thursday and Friday. And what's quite strange is, is that the chances of, of getting thunderstorms is actually getting slimmer and slimmer. So it's very slim to get thunderstorms, though. But I think from the week after, Tuesday is set to be the hottest and yes, Friday the 19th of July is the last day of school. Let's take a look at Rubri in Birmingham because I know Rubri is next to Northfield, which is the area I live in. I mean, Birmingham's not that bad. I mean, look at that! 24 degrees Celsius is a tad hotter than, let's just say, 25 degrees Celsius, but I might be totally wrong. It's actually a tad lot more warmer compared to the urbanized areas like, you know, Birmingham. I just, you know, I just don't understand why. <laughs> Sorry about that, but my throat is in a bit of a um a well presented condition here. But anyways, I think that's about it in this video. I'm sorry about my throat, but I have to end just basically just less than let's just say seven minutes. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like. That's making sure the thumbs up is well in the camera, of course, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as long as my channel is withstanding. But before we can end the video, let me show you the pressure. Well, yes, high pressure is still there on Monday, but unfortunately, low pressure is starting to come and play, which sadly for the fact that, you know, low pressure is retaliating the UK again. But nevertheless, we'll hopefully start to see that high pressure will start to build, hopefully something a lot more warmer at the end of this week which will be next week, of course. Anyways, once again, I have to say thanks for watching and bye for now. And there's nothing much I can say, don't you? Bye.